Hi, with this video I will show you how to configure your receiver by loading a configuration file through uCenter and how to create and save your configuration to replicate later configurations. You will find a list of configuration files selecting the support tab on our ArduSimple website. In this page you will also find a quick guide that explains the process and below all the available configuration files you can download from here. As an example, an interesting one for you to see would be to configure the receiver as a rover with navigation rate of 10 Hz. Download and save the file. Open uCenter software and connect your receiver. Check that your receiver has the latest firmware version. You can check how to update your firmware through our previous video tutorial from our uCenter Made Simple series. My board is currently configured as a rover with navigation rate of 1 Hz. Let's check now how the data is being received. In the NMEA messages we can check through the Global Positioning System Fixed Data, or GTA messages, that new data is being received every second. You can check this also enabling the message UBX NAF Rodbosnet. Now we will configure the receiver as a rover with navigation update rate of 10 Hz. You will find the option for receiver configuration in Tools. In this window, you can upload the configuration file that you saved and under Load Configuration section, click Transfer File to GNSS, your receiver that is. Once finished the transfer, you can see that the update rate now is being received every tenth of a second. It is important to remember that you must save the changes in configuration, otherwise you will lose all previous configuration steps. For this, select twice configuration messages under UBX CFG CFG messages, ensure that save current configuration is selected and click on send here below. If you see that the configuration messages flashes in black, you can be sure that the configuration has been saved. On the other hand, you can create your own configuration for your GPS receiver and you may wish to use this configuration to configure other receivers you may have. For these, save your configuration in a file using the same receiver configuration tool. Give a new name to your configuration file and this time select Transfer GNSS to File instead. Well, now you know how to give your receiver a different configuration and how to save your own configurations for future configurations you may wish to reproduce. Thanks for watching!